that have always determined what the establishment is. And if there's one thing we can point to in our lifetime, it's that the liberal establishment has become co-opted by the same forces that traditionally we regarded the right to have been co-opted by military, yeah. industrial complex, financial industry. Yeah. John, I've not known you long, but mm. I love you already. But I have to say that it's, <laughs> it's disingenuous to claim that the biases that are exhibited on Fox News are any different from the biases exhibited on MSNBC. It's difficult to suggest that's, that's... that these corporations operate as anything other than mouthpieces for their affiliate owners in BlackRock and Vanguard. I've been on that MSNBC, yeah. mate. It was right. propagandist nutcrackery yeah. on you're there. Not, you, I went on the show called Morning Joe. Yeah. It was absurd the way they carried <laughs> Good on. Good morning, Joe. Yes. Yeah, it, I don't it. know what it was. It wasn't morning. There was no one called Joe there. No one could concentrate. They didn't understand the basic tenets of journalism. No one was willing to stick up for genuine American heroes. What my issue is, I don't think they believe in that stuff. I don't think they care. I don't think that they are creating an agenda to advance the interests of vulnerable people. I think no. they are using it as a distraction and a veil in order to carry on with the same kind of corporate and financial interests that have always determined what the establishment is. And if there's one thing we can point to in our lifetime is that the liberal establishment has become co-opted by the same forces that traditionally we regarded the right to have been co-opted by military, yeah. industrial complex, financial industry. Yeah. These are them facts I was going to uh, tell you about, if I may. I hope you will. I certainly shall do my best. I wanted to do it down the barrel. Did you see that? Did you see the, presump the presumptiveness of me there, Tucker? To turn straight ahead for my single. A single that frankly wasn't there because this is Tucker Carlson today. <laughs> COVID provided a lens through which we could scrutinize yes. the machinery of power and how the intentions and agenda of power are able to play out, coalesce, and let's call it conspire when a crisis occurs. How a tendency, a globalist tendency to increase surveillance, a big tech appetite to capture data. And if you remove the gargantuan motivation for profit, and I'm not talking about ending trade and profit and all of those kind of extremist arguments, I'm simply saying this is a behemoth. This is corporate gigantism. This is an outgrowth. This is a, a tumour. This has gone too far. And it is possible to change it. And people that say it's not possible to change it, are invested in it staying the same. You will notice that. So when I sort of hear morality sort of as bombast, or when I hear rhetoric divorced from compassion, it makes me feel uneasy. So I've been blessed with a very practical spirituality, like many desperate people. I need spirituality, I need God, or I cannot cope in this world. I need to believe in the best in people. I need to believe that there are new alliances possible, new ways of us communicating, because I see atrophying and corrupt systems delivering yet more misery to people and I think it's increasingly necessary that we find new ways of framing the conversation and looking into our hearts when we're speaking.